Hi, this is Taryn Grom, editor of Pharma Voice. We met with numerous inspirational thought leaders at this year's DIA annual conference as part of our Editors Take video series. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. In this episode, Taryn meets with Brett Klager, Chief Commercial Officer, Drug Dev, an IQVIA company. Brett, welcome to Boston and 2018 DIA. Thank you, Taryn. It's great to be here. Thanks for participating in our Editors Take video program as well. So, what is the vision for the future of drug dev now that it's an IQVIA company? Great question. And when IQVIA acquired drug dev, part of the premise was they wanted to uh, implement some technologies that could go not just for IQVIA, the CRO, but across the industry. Um, the vision of drug dev moving forward with IQVIA is not, to, not just to provide technologies that really serve the, the largest CRO, but really serve the entire uh, all sponsors, all biopharmaceutical companies, so that everyone could benefit from the same great technologies to run trials. Wonderful. We hear a lot about the burden technology places on clinical trial sites. What is drug dev doing to alleviate this burden? So we look at it very, very pragmatically. Um, the biggest thing that we do is we surround ourselves. We hire lots of ex-study uh, coordinators, um, ex-sites, ex-investigators, so that as we're building technologies, we're not just building it to be technology for the sake of it. We're actually building things that are purpose fit for those customers. What makes you excited about the future of clinical trials? In one word, I'd say it's connectivity. I think, you know, if you walk around DIA um, even today, you'll see probably, uh, you know, some fewer sp or fewer vendors, but many of the vendors are actually connecting to one another. We don't expect that everyone is going to, you know, create one platform that works for every single solution, but vendors are starting to work together to make the life of the stakeholders much easier. As one of the pioneers in, in technology in the clinical arena, I'd like to know what technology seems to be catching on and helping the most? So I think it's the technologies that create real actionable decisions. You know, there's a lot of technologies out there that are great, uh, have great visuals and bubbles and pie charts and all this. But really, when you look at technology that creates something that an end user can look at that and say, I know what to do with that. So whether it is a learning management and a site knows, oh, I have to take these two actions to move to the next step. Um, or in the terms of a, of a, a study team saying, here's the next steps that I have to do to uh, monitor the study. It's something that technology can make it simple for the end user so they can take an action on that, move on. Just a minute ago, you talked about connectivity, and we've been hearing a lot about collaboration over the last couple of years, whether it's collaboration between vendors or collaborations between vendors and sponsors. It still seems to be some burdens that need to be overcome. So how can companies like Drug Dev bridge that gap? So there's a couple of tactical ways to do that. Um, so first of all, for any user, the idea of, of uh, single uh, sign-on. <laughs> single sign-on is one of the concepts that people talk about, but really to implement that so that people don't need to have multiple logons for it. The second part is making sure that if your data is captured in one area, don't ask for redundancy. Don't repeat that over and over again. So, so to me, it's, it's those, you know, the, whether it's APIs, the connectivity, or just simple workflow between solutions, you know, how do you make it so that an end user doesn't feel like they're in 16 systems to get their job done? And so that's from a tactical perspective. What do sponsors need to understand about it from a strategic perspective? Good question. Um, so strategically, look at the end goal. Um, what are you trying to accomplish with your site or with your patient or with your study team? Um, don't get caught up in every single nuance of the technology. Look at the end goal to figure out how can you get two companies to work together um, we're three companies to work together to make the, the life of that person easier. Fantastic insights. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much. For more information on this topic, visit our Thought Leaders website. For more Editors Take videos from the DIA Annual Conference, visit www.pharmavoice.com. Thanks for joining us.